Now it's time to start the Monster Hunter World Iceborne story. Initiate the expedition in the Ancient Forest, followed by the first expedition in the Horfrost Reach, and hunt down the Biotodus to progress. In the area where you watch the Biotodus cutscene, there is a hot spring. Sit in it for some time to unlock the Source of Relaxation trophy. Then head back to obtain two trophies called The Beginning of a New Expedition and The True Hunt Begins. Now beat the next assignment, Bambro Blockade, to unlock the Steamworks in Celiana. This is a minigame that showers you in useful items while you randomly press buttons. Do that until the bar in the top right fills three times and a cutscene plays to obtain the trophies Eager Engineer and Skilled Steamworker. You can talk to the excitable A-lister to get some extra fuel. Afterwards, I recommend you start crafting some Master Rank gear. Until now I have not told you what to craft at all and it will stay that way for now. I am just mentioning this because you will obtain the trophy Powers Everything for crafting 5 weapons with rarity 8 or higher and the trophy Impregnable Defense for crafting 5 armor pieces with rarity 8 or higher. You will also get them automatically by going through this guide. Following this we will continue the story for quite a bit now. Go on to a Horfos Reach expedition to fight Viper Tobikadachi to obtain the Time to Get Serious trophy. Then beat the assignments No Time for Naps, Play Both Ants and Blizzard Blitz for the trophy The Elusive Paladrin. Head to the Ancient Forest to unlock Ever Present Shadow, followed by The Scorching Blade, Absolute Power, A Smashing Cross Counter and A Tale of Ice and Fire. Finally beat the Shrieking Legiana on another expedition in the Horfos Reach to obtain two trophies called Indomitable Spirit and Confronting the Unknown. Now we want to unlock all the optional campsites in the Horfos Reach. I will show the two spots that you must visit to unlock the respective delivery requests. Afterwards, you will have to hand in the required materials at the resource center. You will need generic materials from Master Rank Tupikadachi and material from Breaking Master Rank Azorathal's Wings. During this process, you will obtain the trophies New World Settler and Master Explorer. After that, we continue the plot by beating the assignments The Thunderous Troublemaker, The Disintegrating Blade, Bad Friends Great Enemies, the defense of Celiana and the Iceborne Wyvern to unlock the trophy of the old Everworld. We then beat the second coming, which will lead us to collecting monster tracks once more, this time in the Ancient Forest and Coral Highlands to unlock the assignments Under the Veil of Death and A Light from the Abyss respectively. And lastly we beat To the Guided Apaean and Paean of Guidance, which lead right into each other. That will award you the trophy, an end and a beginning, and wraps up the story of the Iceborne expansion.